apparently even being that, God is pleased with All right. Go ahead and turn in your Bibles to Romans chapter 5. Has, uh, has everybody in here seen those uh, commercials? They're called Jesus, He Gets Us. Has everybody seen those? Anybody know what I'm referring to? Well, I'm here today to tell you that He does not get us. <laughs> not in the way that they're trying to portray Him. Look, I'm all for anybody being pointed towards Jesus Christ. Amen. And if somebody who's... Uh, lost is led to a Bible-based church because of those commercials and get saved, and then hallelujah. Praise God. Sadly, <clears throat> the Jesus of the He Gets His commercials is a social justice warrior Jesus. And they're trying to make Jesus something that He's really not. Uh, they're cherry-picking the Scripture mm -hmm. and are portraying not the whole Jesus, which people tend to do with God all the time. They want to put God in a box or only look at certain attributes. And uh, So, yes, Jesus did not, does not get us. But here's what Jesus does. Romans chapter 5, beginning in verse 8, it says, But God commendeth His love towards us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Much more than... Being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. See, Jesus doesn't just get us, right? Jesus died to save us from the wrath to come, right? Now, there is things that Jesus did get about us. He got us that we all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And he got the fact that without him, we were all going to spend an eternity in a lake of fire. But because he understood that, and because of his love for us, he was willing to die for us that we might be saved by his precious blood. Amen. That's the real Jesus. That's the Jesus of the Bible. Um, you know, it's, <clears throat> it's like anything else. When somebody's sick, they need a cure, Correct. Where do you got to go to get the cure? If, if, you had, if you have an illness, where do you got to actually go to get that, that physical cure? You got to go to a doctor. Or you got to go to a hospital, right? In order to get that cure. So, uh, the lost have a sickness. They're, they're, they're dying. They're, 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 they're dying and they're going to spend an eternity in hell. Jesus is the cure, but we got to take them and show them how to get that cure. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. That's why we've always used the Ten Commandments. I've always been using the Ten Commandments uh, to explain to people, to show them their lost condition so they can see that it's not by your righteousness, it's by Christ's righteousness that you can have salvation. I use a phrase, and me and Brian talked about it this morning. We have some of the great, great fellowship in the mornings. I get here, I was here about 8, 8 10, 8, 15 this morning. I use a phrase, you were all together lost. And what that means is, that's, that's used in the singular context, not plural. Yes, everybody in this room was lost at one point in time or another. But you yourself are altogether lost. That means your entire being had no redeemable qualities. Amen. Your mind, body, and soul, your, your wicked heart, there was nothing redeemable about you. It is our redemption comes through Jesus Christ. And trying to pass Jesus off as some social justice warrior... That's not the real Jesus. I guess the, the latest one is washing of the feet. Jesus washed feet. Amen. Well, yeah, he did wash feet, but he washed his feet symbolically to show the disciples what the real washing was going to do. And that's the washing away of our sin only by his blood. It is only by the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ that our sin can be washed away. Our justification comes from Jesus Christ. When God looks at us, he doesn't see that filthy, lousy, rotten sinner that I am. He sees the redeeming blood of his son. And that's the Jesus that we need to promote because there's going to be too many people out there that think that Jesus is now some social justice warrior. He had his opportunity for that in his three and a half year ministry. You can see how the Jews were treated by the Romans. And yet he said, render to Caesar the things that belong to Caesar. And he didn't. He was not a social justice warrior. The poor you will have with you always. Uh, he, was, he had a bigger plan. Right? 
Bringing about social change did, really didn't matter to Jesus. He, he was looking at the ultimate thing, and that was saving men's souls. Because while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Amen? That's how great God's love was. That's how great His love is that He was willing to die before the foundation of the world. You've got to look at that. He was the Lamb slain before the foundation of the world. That means before God ever said, let there be light, He already knew what you would do, everything. This, everybody is sitting here today. He knew every sin you would do. And he still said, before you create them, I'll die for them. That's, right. That's love. That is love. And he doesn't just wash your feet. He washes away your sins, amen? amen? That's the real Jesus. Jesus does not get you. He died for you and he saved you. Amen. That's the great God that we serve. And that's the God we need to proclaim. Because there are people out there sick and dying. And it's only the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ that's going to save them. Not some silly commercial that says he gets us. He spent $3.5 million and he still didn't give the gospel message. Did not give the gospel message. $3.5 million for what, 30 seconds? Yeah. Yeah. There's enough time. Yeah, there's plenty of time. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Boom. There it is. All right. Uh, see, Brother Shane, would you close us in prayer?